Abla is once again facing accusations of price gouging. I'm shocked. This is shocking news. It comes after this tweet was shared by reporter Siobhan Morris. While shopping at Loblaws in Toronto, she stumbled upon a five-piece pack of antibiotic-free chicken breasts that was priced at $37.03. Ah, the tweet inspired tons of outrage online, mostly directed at Loblaw. One Twitter user wrote, Nearly $40 for five chicken breasts? If you see someone stealing food from the grocery store, no you didn't. No one should have to go hungry because of greed. In terms of costs, what we charge is contractual, in that that's an agreement that we arrive at with our suppliers in advance of their products being listed with us, and is customary in terms of how we are operating. The shocking sight comes just one month after grocery executives faced a parliamentary committee and disputed accusations that grocery giants are taking advantage of inflation to drive up their own profits. But it's hard to believe that's not the case when companies like Loblaw are reporting record returns. Just this week, the Canadian Centre for Policy Alternatives reported that Canada's 100 highest paid CEOs made an average of $14.3 million in 2021, smashing the previous record of just under $12 million set in 2018. Loblaw President Galen Weston Jr. was on that list, earning more than $10.5 million last year. For grocers and Loblaw in particular, there's two things that we do are absolutely critical to keeping inflation down. The number one thing is us acting as the countermeasure and making sure that we don't accept unjustified cost increases from the supplier base. Loblaw claims it saved Canadian consumers about a half a billion dollars in extra food costs in 2022 by pushing back against price increases demanded by food manufacturers. I know food prices are top of mind these days. They just keep going up. Your grocery bill is higher because it costs manufacturers way more to produce products than it has in decades. Another remedy the company made was freezing prices on no-name products until the end of January. But as one Twitter user pointed out, the practice has not been consistent. The rapidly rising cost of groceries has become a hot-button issue in politics, with food prices up 11% last October compared with a year earlier. And relief isn't expected to come anytime soon. According to the 13th edition of Canada's Food Price Report, the total cost of groceries for a family of four is expected to be $1,065 more than it was in 2022.